Now we need to add the text that appears in the upper right hand side of the cover in here. Now I'm going to jump to Word to copy that and paste it in here. So copy this from in here, all of this, jump back to InDesign and then paste it into its own text frame. Position that up at the top right corner. So it's right into the top margin in there. Make this really wide and bring it all the way down in here. So um, with uh, give it plenty of room because the text is going to be quite big inside of here. Double click on the text frame and then press Command A or Control A to select all the text. Change the alignment to right aligned. And then in terms of the style, that's going to be Myriad Pro for the font family, but is to be all set to black style in here. We then also need to add an outline around this text. So if I go to the top, I'm still formatting text, change the outline to take a break pink, press return. I also need to go to the window menu, go down to stroke and just make sure the stroke thickness is set to two points in there. It's about the only place you can find these options because uh, everything's taken up with type options. You won't find them in the control panel up at the top. Close that one down. And then double, uh, triple click to select that first line of text. Uh, change the font size to uh, 70 points and press return. And then we need to just set the leading for this to 34 and press return. And then we need to change the tracking. These are going to be really tight together, these characters. If I click on the drop down menu, choose minus 75. It's probably going to be too tight. But if I uh, tap up in there, go to minus 70. Um, you get a little bit of uh, an extra room in there. And then um, we need to change the color of the text, the fill color from black to take a break yellow and then click away. And that, that's, you know, kind of the appearance. Very eye catching. I'm going to hover my cursor now over the remaining text lower down, st uh, swipe across it all. And then and I'm going to change this to uh, 25 points. Um, all uppercase. And then we need to increase the leading value of that to, uh, let's go for auto leading to start off with, which is going to be too big. Tap down. And then we need to set the tracking for this one as well to uh, minus 70. Like so. So that's uh, all fitting on there nice and neatly, um, kind of. And um, and then we need to change the uh, words win in here. So again, I'm going to uh, just set the fill color for this again to uh, yellow. Change the size of this to 40 points, uh, like so. Uh, and then with that done, I do need just to set the space after paragraph option in here. I'm just going to increase this a touch just to push it away. Um, and then I'm going to copy that text. I'm going to triple click on that line, paste that version in. Um, then I'm going to highlight this line and change that one also to 40 points. And again, I then need to change. It's a mixture of either the leading value in here. I need to just pull it away from the top up there. So increase the leading value, maybe 35 points for letting value in there will work fine. Um, and then um, that needs to be applied with a white fill. So um, back to the fill in there, change it from black to paper. Um, and again, I'm going to click in that line to select all the characters. Again, change the letting in here just to put a little bit of space between them. 28 points should be enough. Uh, triple click in this line again, increase the leading value just to pull that one away from the line above it. Um, and again, with this one, swipe over that one. And um, again, with this one, I'm going to change the, the color to paper. Um, also, change the color of this one to paper as well. And then we just need to sort the spacing out of these, really. So I think I can probably just triple click on the line for win in there and then just increase the leading value for that one just to pull that one away in there. Like so. Now, in actual fact, I can swipe over these. These don't need to be um, in all uppercase, obviously, because they go over this lady's eye. So they're too big. So I'm going to turn off that. Just switch to my selection tool and grab this text frame and pull it in 
and I get that. So that's better. I, mean, I don't mind it going across the hair, but we can't have that text going across the face in there. Um, and again, go back to this line of text in here, take off uh, all caps in there because I don't think that's really working. And I think with that, we're looking something close to being done in there. So yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it's a lot of faffing around because there's so much color to add in there that alternates um, and a little bit of the leading and the space after and things like that. But that is ultimately the look that we are going for with Take a Break magazine. If I press the W key on the keyboard to hide all the grids and guides, you can kind of see how that's building up now from there. Um, and um, we'll um, continue with this style of text over on the left hand side of the front cover and work down from top to bottom again.